Former President Donald Trump is spending the day campaigning in Wisconsin ahead of tonight's vice presidential debate. The Republican nominee made a stop at a manufacturing facility in a suburb of the state's capital, Madison. He's also expected to speak about the economy in Milwaukee, which has the largest number of Democratic voters in the state. For more, let's bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian, who is in Wanaki, Wisconsin, I believe is the pronunciation of that. Nicole, how is the former president responding to this Iranian missile attack against Israel? Yeah, well, we're actually in Milwaukee awaiting the former president at an event that is centered around school choice. You can probably see Congressman Brian Stile right behind me a short time ago. He delivered remarks about the situation overseas, saying that this was an assault that was committed against the Israeli people and that his thoughts and prayers are with them and that the U.S. should uh, stand strong in defending and standing by its ally of Israel. So. Uh, we expect to hear more potentially from the former president on this topic, but he did weigh in earlier at a rally in Wanaki, as you mentioned, uh, which is in a different part of the state. Uh, but he uh, basically said that the world is spiraling out of control and even suggested that we are on the precipice of World War III, a global catastrophe. He has also said through a series of social media posts that he feels that this may not have happened on his watch. That when he was the president, Iran was in check, to use his words. Uh, so uh, that has kind of been his response thus far with respect to the conflict. He may take questions here, so we expect to ask him a bit more about his reaction and what type of response uh, he might take uh, should he win the presidency in 2024. But uh, that being said, certainly it is one of those split screen moments, if you will, Caitlin. We kind of saw something uh, similar take place yesterday with the former president being in Valdosta, kind of giving his take and trying to respond to uh, Hurricane Helene, of course, now uh, giving his impressions of what is happening abroad with respect to those Iranian strikes against Israel. Uh, uh, as we witness the administration responding and the former president responding as well. Why turn his focus to this area? Well, this is obviously a significant battleground, as you know, one of several battleground states that we are watching. And we know that the former president, in fact, was just here over the weekend. But certainly what's interesting in particular about this visit is that he is visiting two Democratic strongholds in terms of Dane County, where he was earlier today, and here in Milwaukee, where he'll be here a short time from now. And this is really about uh, potentially trying to slim the margins within the blue wall, if you will. We know this area is very vital for Democrats as well. They want to hold on to Wisconsin. But, you know, if the Trump team can kind of cut into some of those margins, visiting a place like Milwaukee, you know, kind of getting that local coverage, uh, the campaign is certainly hoping that that kind of helps, particularly if they're able to run up the totals in other redder parts of the state. So this is all part of a broader strategy as a whole and probably not the former president's last visit here to Wisconsin. Nicole Killian, thank you.